Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza and welcome to my channel Sophie Stained Glass. I wanted to make a video today about uh, designing using computers. Um, now I've done this for years and I find it very liberating uh, for various reasons. Um, when your client, as they inevitably will, want something tweaked or changed or reworked, um, if you've drawn it by hand, you've got to draw the whole thing again. It's a lot of work, um, but if it's a computer, it's very much easier to edit what you've done. So that's the number one reason I like to design on a computer. The second reason is you can uh, get use your drawing, your design that you show your client as the actual um, cutting pattern or the cartoon, because you can, it doesn't matter even what size you've drawn it, because I often do draw mine at a, a smaller than the real size because my windows can be four meters long and that's a lot of memory for my computer to cope with. So I might draw it 40 centimeters long but then I can resize it very easily. Now what's, what is important to remember is that you can only resize your design effectively if it's drawn in a vector package not one that uses pixels. So. The most common package I think you're all familiar with are the, is the Adobe Suite. Um, Photoshop works on pixels, so if you draw a line in Photoshop it's a series of dots. Vector um, is what you have with Illustrator. Illustrator you have a point and another point and a line between the two. And what that means is, I mean, you don't draw the points, you just draw the line, but the computer stores the information as, as start point, end point, line between. Um, without going into finer details, when you upsize a two millimeter line that you've drawn in a vector package or illustrator, it stays two millimeters thick, no matter if you increase it by 50% or 100% or 500%, it will always stay two millimeters thick. If you draw something um, with pixels, um, when you upsize it, it turns into a series of dots and the dots get really big and fat. It, they won't stay two mil even if you've drawn them two mil. So there is a place for, for pixel packages and I'll explain about that, but what I would recommend is that you do your line work in a vector package and then if you want to colour in the shapes you've drawn, transport your vector design into a pixel package and then colour in. Now I'm going to mention layers. If you use layers, um, you can draw your lines in one layer and then add the colour in another layer, which means when you go to print, you can turn off the colour and printing will be a lot cheaper. Um, you don't, and also you don't want your paper saturated. I mean, mostly if you go to a print shop, if you want it printed in colour, they will charge you a massive amount because they need to use a really thicker paper. So, um, the there are these sketch packages you can get, which I find very nice. You can buy um, a tablet, which is, it looks like just, just this, it's a drawing tablet. Wacom is the leading make, and it comes with a pen, stylus. You draw onto the tablet, it's plugged into your computer, and it turns up on the screen. And I find this a very nice way to draw. So when I'm doing an initial sketch, just to give a few ideas to the client, that's how I do it. And once we've sort of agreed the way ahead, that's when I then go to Illustrator and draw it um, in detail and to scale. Um, I've been talking about the Adobe Suite, which I've used for years. In the last six months, I've stopped using Adobe Suite because I bought mine, oh, about six or seven years ago, and it's become obsolete and they don't update it anymore. And I'm really annoyed because I paid for it, but they've gone over to a subscription um, basis now and they charge something like 40 quid a month. I only have to design um, like once every two months because in the meantime, I'm just doing my work. 
I'm not going to pay that, especially not as I paid hundreds of pounds for it a few years ago. So I've abandoned um, Adobe Suite and I've gone over to using Affinity Designer. I find it very easy because a lot of the principles that I picked up using Photoshop and Illustrator just transfer. But they also have a fantastic set of free tutorials um, covering just about everything you need to know. They're really easy yeah. to follow. It's, it's, I really recommend Affinity Designer. It's one outright cost of about 30 or 40 quid, I think. So um, that's what I use now. Um, I would also recommend something called Rapid Resizer because you can draw on it, you can resize on it, you can print from it. And what's wonderful is it has a whole, um, uh, what do you call it, palette of uh, glass that you can select from. So you just fill the areas you've drawn with the glass you've selected and they have just about every manufacturer much more than I could actually buy from the shops I buy from. And it, you'll end up with a design that really looks like a stained glass window. It's not just filled in, filled in with a block colour. Um, it's filled in with the glass. So um, that's a good one to look for. Um, so that's just an overview of um, some tips and tricks and thoughts that I have about designing on computer. Um, I would urge you to give it a go. It can feel like a steep learning curve at first, but um, there are lots of online tutorials that you can use to help you. And there are lots of free um, drawing packages. For example, I use something called Sketchbook Pro. Again, I paid for it and now it's gone free. Bit annoying. Um, but that is very intuitive. You just tap on the pencil and draw with a pencil, or you tap on the felt tip and you draw with a felt tip. It's got a brilliant thing which is um, an airbrush and I love using that to fill in because it's not a dense colour and it's the closest thing I've ever come to replica replicating glass because uh, and you can change the opacity you can use lots of layers um, I really like Sketchbook Pro I think it's quite similar to Coral Draw in some respects but I don't think Coral Draw works on an apple unless it's changed um, yeah so, um, if you have any particular questions, do let me know. I think, if I remember rightly, I have a playlist where I show you how I've designed on a computer. Um, so, um, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know if you have any particular um, things you want me to make a video about and I'll try and help. And, um, yeah, good luck.